Hello and welcome to how to make an auto jump. An auto jump feature is seen in games like the Zelda series where if you were to run up to an edge, the character will automatically jump across the edge rather than fall down, but only when they're going to a certain speed. Let's go through the process of how this is achieved. First thing we need to do is constantly check in front of the player whereabouts the floor is. And that's all done inside the tick event of the player character. So let's create the tick event. And inside this tick event, we're going to do a line trace going down right in front of the player character. We're going to do line trace, like channel. And as I said, it's going to be right in front of them. So what we need to do is get the forward vector by using get actor forward vector and then multiplying this by a length. And we're just going to convert that to a float. And we can multiply this length uh, by uh, not too far, it's only to go in front of them. So let's do uh, 150. This is the range where it's going to check to see whether or not we should start jumping or not. Obviously, this can be tweaked. Actually, let's make it 100. There you go. Okay, so we've got a vector. We now want to add this onto the actor's location. So get actor location. Being a player character, this is going to return like the middle of the character, so the waist basically. So we're going to add this onto our offset that we've created. And that will give us our waist height in front of us. I then want to take this height and I want to minus or subtract a z value axis value, uh, vector. This is how high I want it to check downwards. So I'm going to do 200 here. Actually, nice no, to do. Uh, well, I did want to do like half height plus a little bit more. So the capsule is half height of 90. Let's do 110. Okay. And let's put that into the end point there. So basically, it's a dead straight line going down. Now, to demonstrate that, I'm going to put a draw debug type on for one frame so you can see how this looks in action. So when I push play here, we can see that line going down in front of the player. Perfect. So, as I said, this thing is going to be checking out the whole entire time. Uh, we want to know when the return value is null. In other words, not true at all. So we put that into a branch. And you're checking to see if it's false. Now, if it's false, we want to check to see if we're currently jumping already. So, is falling. And we want that to be not true. So put that into... Yeah. That one goes to the false here, and then this one will be false again. We don't want them to be falling. Do this. If that's the case, we're going to do jump. And that's it. Now, what will happen here is that as the player runs around the map and reaches a ledge, you jump. Really simple. Together. I'm not pushing jump at all. Doing it automatically for me. Now, what if we don't want to do it after a certain speed? So at the moment, even if I were to go off a, the ledge at a very slow rate, which I may not want, we don't want him to just jump like that. So I want to be able to edge myself off a ledge if need to be. Well, in, as well as testing our falling rate here, we also want to check our velocity. And we can get the velocity of the character by doing get velocity and getting the vector length of this. This returns us how fast the character is going. So vector length. And we just check to see if this value is greater than a certain threshold. In this case, we'll do 300. So if I put that into a branch now, put the force into there. If it's greater than 300, we want it to be true. Jump. And now I play this on my controller and go up to a ledge and just eat myself off it like that I can fall off no problem but if I were to run all speed off of it you'd leap off and there you go if you like this how-to video and see a lot more you can find over on patreon.com forward slash Ryan Laley where your donations get access to all my videos early before anyone else thank you for watching make sure you're subscribed and I'll see you next time bye everyone